In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace your side rear view mirror on this Chevy Silverado. I'm gonna show you the driver's side, but the exact same procedure applies to the passenger side. Let's install this brand new TRQ part. To get the switch panel out, we have to remove this grab handle, and to do that, we have to pull off this cover for it so that we can access the two mounting bolts for it. So take a trim tool, pop off the bottom of it. There we go. Pull that off. Now you have two 10 millimeter bolts, one at the top and one at the bottom. With those off, you can pull this grab handle out of the way. Now pry up on this switch panel. With it popped off of here, we can get to our switch. With this switch panel up, let's unplug all the switches here. We'll start with the lock switch. Someone's clearly been in here before, so I'm gonna be careful with this one. Pry up on that little tab and push it off of here. The master window switch. And then the mirror switch over here. For this one, sometimes you'll need a pocket screwdriver to help you pry on it. There we go. Underneath this grab handle, you'll notice that there's a cover. We're gonna have to pop this cover off so we can get to the mounting screws that hold down the door. You can do this with a pocket screwdriver or a pick or anything that'll get down here and kind of pry up on this cover. There we go. Two 10 millimeter bolts, remove both of them. Right by the door handle, you'll see another one of these covers. Pop this off as well, and another 10 millimeter bolt. Lift up on the door handle and remove the bolt. We have to remove the lock indicator. Make sure it's in the unlocked position. Grab a little pocket screwdriver or pick, and you're gonna wanna pry out on this cap, just like that. This will release it. You can pull it up and off. Remove the sail panel at the top, just pry it off. Now you should be able to pry out on this door panel. It's got some plastic clips holding it on. Now you can take the door panel, lift it up, but don't go too far with it because we still have the door handle cable attached. Let's remove the door handle cable. To get the door handle cable out, you're gonna have to pinch these two tabs. I'm gonna use some needle nose pliers to do this and then pull the cable out at the same time. There we go. Get it out through that slot and then pull the ball end through. Now you can pull your door panel away. Now peel the vapor barrier back and right here is our mirror connection. Press on the locking tab and unplug it. You don't necessarily have to remove this, but I will because it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to get access to the retainers that hold this wire behind this plate onto the door. There are three 10 millimeter bolts that hold this on. Remove them all. Now you can remove this bracket. Over here, take a trim tool and pop it out. Do the same up here. Try not to scratch the paint too much. Remove this foam insulation. Set it aside safely. We're gonna reuse this unless it's in poor condition. Three 10 millimeter nuts hold the entire mirror onto the door. I left the top one for last so that the mirror wouldn't wanna fall off. I'm supporting it from the other side over the door. Take this off. Try not to drop that inside the door. Grab onto the mirror, slide it off, peel off this seal, get that wiring through. And there's your old mirror. Take the new mirror, feed the wire through the door, and line it up with the holes that it mounts through. It's gonna have two little tabs that you have to pop in, and that's going to temporarily lock it in place one at the top, one at the bottom. This will ensure that it'll stay on here while you go around and start in all three mounting nuts. Doesn't matter which one you start first. Snug them up. Now I'm going to snug this up by hand so that I can put even pressure on all three. What I'm doing now is just squishing down that gasket to make a nice water tight seal and you want them all even because otherwise, well, you'll get water leaks in here and some wind noise potentially. And uh, 
once they basically bottom out, just give them a little snug, a little extra, and that's good to go right there. I went around multiple times because the gasket squishes. As it squishes, it loosens other bolts up that I haven't tightened yet, so it's good to go around a few times. Take the wire and clip it in. While we're in this area, let's get the foam piece reinstalled, just like so. This helps with wind noise. Reattach this wire over here on this retainer and bring in your wiring harness back to the main connector. I like to loop it around here just because it's long and I don't want it to get caught on anything. Make sure that clicks. Now if you took this off, take that bracket, slide it back on and bolt it back up. Make sure all these are snug. If they're not, this will rattle around as you drive and that's not great. Get your vapor barrier, put the wires through and do your best to stick it back onto the door. Uh, like I said before when I took it off, these a lot of times will not stick back on. So either put more butyl tape on or other tape or whatever you have, but make sure it's seated on the door and then we can put the main door panel on. All right, bring in the door panel. This is gonna be difficult to see and to do, honestly. You're gonna have to hook the cable into the door handle and then up and through the slot. And then you'll have to bring this door panel fairly close to the door and then slide this cable through until it clicks. Now make sure these wires are coming through. Make sure the lock indicator comes through and slide this down onto the window seal here at the top, just like so. Once all the push clips are lined up, tap it into place. Let's get this screw in by the door handle. Tighten that up. While you're here, might as well put this cover on. Make sure it clicks in place. Now let's get the two screws in up by the grab handle. Don't forget the cover. Put the sail panel back on. It's got three clips that it needs to line up with and snap into place. Now let's put back the switch panel, untangle all these wires if they're tangled up and reconnect them where they belong. We had the lock switch over here. Oh, obviously that works. And then a couple connectors on the window switch. Make sure all of those click. And lastly, the mirror switch. Now put this panel back down, line it up and snap it into place. Now let's get the grab handle back in. Snug up these two bolts and put this cover back on. Let's get the lock indicator back on, line it up over there. To have it perfectly lined up, you wanna have it pressed up against the door panel with this little locking tab, then lock it in. And as you can see, now it's perfectly lined up for lock and unlock. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.